Welcome back to another video series. Today I'll be looking at a very interesting triangle, the right angle triangle. At the end of this video, you should be able to construct a right angle triangle when given the hypotenuse on one side. A right angle triangle, as we know, has one angle measuring 90 degrees. Hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the side adjacent to the right angle. This is a graphic representation of the triangle. In this case, the hypotenuse, this side is 90 millimeters. The side, which can be either this side or that side, is 40 millimeters. 40 millimeters. So we have the length of this side, which is 90, and the base of 40 millimeters. There's a very interesting principle that we need to establish. Any triangle that is formed within a semicircle, the angle is always 90 degrees. Any triangle that is formed within a semicircle the angle is always 90 degrees. Take for example, I will be them, I will be explaining that theory practically. Let's say let's draw a random length line. Say here is my center. Next step is to draw a semicircle with this point as center. I, let me use this measurement. Let that be 45 millimeters. 45 millimeters. All right. So I first draw a random length line. Then I establish my starting point, which I know my label zero when it's a circular object. Next step, I open my compass. I want the diameter to be the length of the hypotenuse, 90. So the radius of this is 45, which is half of the diameter. The next step is to open my compass to the given length or the given side. In this case, the, given, the length of the given side is 40 millimeters. So I readjust my compass to 40 millimeters and I choose here to be one point. So the hypotenuse will basically will be here. The base will be the hypotenuse. Using this point at center, I scrap an arc to cut the semicircle. The radius of this is 40 millimeters. The next step is to join from one. We could label these A, A, B. Next step is to join this point to the point where R meets, meets the semicircle. Then from B to the point above. And there we go. We have a triangle. We have a triangle. And the angle form here is 90 degrees. So this length, which is hypotenuse, is 90 millimeters. 90 millimeters. The length of this side is 40. And as you can see, we have a perfect right, right angle. It's important to note that any, as I was explaining earlier, any triangle that is formed within this semicircle, the angle will always be 90 degrees. Please make that. Let me demonstrate for you a little bit. All right, let me use a different color for demonstration purpose. The key point there is to use the, once the diameter is used as a base, and the angle will always be 90 degrees. Take for example, here, using here as center, and I extend my line to this point. There you go here. See, this is 90. So anywhere on the circumference that you, that you use, as long as 
the diameter is the base angle will be 90 degrees let's let's try it again starting here here let's use this point as from here to there and again the angle form here is 90 degrees let me use a different color from a different location all right again let's see with this point as center starting here to here again you will see the angle form here will always be 90 degrees so it means therefore any circle any triangle that is formed within a semicircle, once the base is the full diameter, the angle will always be 90 degrees. It's important to note this on the work when the diameter when, when the, the base is the diameter. Any point on the circumference will give you a perfect right angle.